It's a great pleasure for me to welcome you to this mini concert series on behalf of the Bromsgrove International Music Competition, which is celebrating its 40th anniversary. And this is a great chance to look back over those years and to think of the people who had insight and gave energy to make the competition come about and grow. It came from an idea of Dr. Donald Hunt as part of the Bromsgrove Festival. And later, Dr. Mary White and her husband, Max, helped the competition to grow and develop over many years with the support of many helpers, including Joyce Messenger, Peter Ward, and others. The competition has had distinguished panelists and chairs, including Richard Butt, Sir John Manuel, Sir Philip Ledger, and Edmund Fieve. And now I would especially like to thank the chair, His Honour Judge Ian Morris, for all the energy and work that he's put in to making the Bromsgrove such a distinctive and successful competition. Ian Morris is helped by many as well to work on this competition and we need to think of all those people who are putting their time to help musicians succeed. There are spin-offs from the Bromsgrove as well. Monica Tozo has developed the Bromsgrove Young Musicians Platform and this has had great success in the last five years and we wish it well for the future. And this brings me to the contestants themselves. Over the years, 1,700 musicians have been to Bromsgrove to compete and many have gone on to very successful careers and lives in music. Some of them have come back to help us and we thank Amy Dixon and her team of ambassadors for all that she has done and they have done for us. Going forwards, there are many things to look forward to in a post-Covid world. The Bromsgrove hopes to run professional training sessions for the contestants. It's going to be expanding its national platform. It's going to have educational outreach into schools and further afield. And this will also include play days for primary age children. So let's listen and enjoy our ambassadors' performances. They are all past winners of the Bromsgrove and it's a wonderful chance for us to sit back and listen to these wonderful musicians play and enjoy their work. Please applaud them. And if you feel able, please donate to the Bromsgrove. Small or large donations are equally welcome. It is the support from you that really matters. So let's look forward to many more years of this great competition. And thank you so much for coming along and supporting it now. Hi, everybody. My name is Alexander Sitkovetsky, and I'm a violinist, a very proud ambassador of Bromsgrove Young Musician. I was lucky enough to win the competition back in 2006, and uh, it played really such an important role in the development of my career at the time. It was a real stepping stone. Um, I had wonderful experience uh, at Bromsgrove, spent a lovely few days there and um, really felt that I, I gave a really nice performance, which, you know, the competition created such an environment for, I think, all the competitors to do their best. It's, it's been wonderful to see the competition continue to go from strength to strength. And um, I know that it's been a difficult year, but um, I can't wait, hopefully, for the competition to continue again this summer. Uh, I've been telling my students about it now uh, for the last few years, and I'm hoping that maybe some of them will come and attend. Uh, this video uh, is a performance of the Grieg 
violin sonata, number three in C minor, that I recorded with the wonderful pianist Wu Chen, who is uh, my duo partner and also uh, my trio partner. And uh, it's really such a beautiful, beautiful work uh, of extreme uh, emotions, uh, probably romanticism at its best. And uh, we really hope that you enjoy this performance and uh, we hope to see all of you at the concert halls and at the Bromsgrove Young Musician as soon as possible. Stay safe, everybody, and thank you for listening. Bye-bye.
Thank you.